I am Dr. G. Mahesh, Associate Professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Sagaran Krishna Raju Engineering College, Bhemvaram. The present topic is Select Command in SQL in the course uh, DBMS. The course code is B17CS3104. The main objectives of uh, this uh, PPT are first of all to introduce uh, SQL that is a structured query language uh, commands uh, and uh, then to apply basic queries uh, on a table using a select command. The basic select command syntax is explained in this uh, PPT. Let us see the standards of uh, uh, SQL that is structured query language. NSI has a standardized SQL in 1986 and uh, then uh, in 1992 it is standardized and uh, called as uh, SQL 2 and 92 also and then in 99 it is uh, standardized as SQL 99 and it is also called SQL 3 and the present stable version is uh, SQL 2016. Now let us see how SQL commands are categorized. In SQL 92, SQL statements are grouped into DDL, DML and DCL commands. DDL means data definition language commands that include creation of tables and altering the table structure and dropping the tables. And DCL is a data control language command that includes controlling the data access to the different kinds of users and then data manipulation language commands that is the main topic in this PPT. It includes select command, insert command, update and delete commands. Here in this PPT select command is the main topic. Let us know the syntax of a select command. The syntax of select command is uh, select distinct select list from from list where qualification and uh, semicolon. The square brackets indicate uh, the optional clauses. Let us see the first part in which uh, the first word is uh, keyword or command and then distinct is also a keyword, optional keyword and then select list. Select list contains the columns to be selected from the table and the second uh, part of the select command is from from list in which from is the keyword and from list is the table names separated by commas and the third part is where qualification in which qualification is the condition from which uh, you obtain the rows. If you want all the rows then where clause is not necessary. Let us see the first example of select command. Here the query is to display the contents of the EMP table. EMP table is a famous table in which uh, 14 rows are there for 14 employees. First column contains employee number, second column contains uh, name of the employee, third column contains job and the fourth column contains uh, manager's employee number and hire date of the employee, salary, commission and then uh, department uh, number to which the employee belongs to. Now. Let us go to the query that means we have to display the contents of the EMP table that means the complete content of the EMP table that means you have to display all the rows and also all the columns details one by one. Here therefore you want all the columns and all the rows. Here in the selection list you have to give column names separated by comma or you can give directly star. Here where clause is not necessary. Therefore the command will be select star from EMP.
now the query is display names of all the employees that means you want the column e name and you want all the rows therefore where clause is not necessary and in the column name you have to give e name then you can uh, uh, get the names of all the employees the final query is like this that is select e name from emp and the result is highlighted in the green color let us display all the employee names and job we want all the employee names therefore where clause is not necessary we want e name comma job therefore you have to give e name comma job in the place of selection list and after from clause you have to give emp the final query will be like this and the result is highlighted is employee details with the salary above 2000 that means we have to filter the rows you don't want all the rows therefore we have to use where clause and the condition is sal greater than 2000 the selection list will be all the columns that is uh, star therefore the final command will be select star from emp where sal greater than 2000 and uh, the result will be highlighted now the query is employee details with uh, employee number 7788 there are no employees here only one employee is there with 7788 that is scott for selecting that row you have to use the condition emp and o is equal to 7788 and the star you have to use in the selection list and emp in the from clause and the output is highlighted and the command is select a star from emp where emp and o is equal to 7788 observe the result now the query is employees designation with employee number 7788 the employee with 7788 is scott whose job is analyst that we want to display therefore the selection list you have to give it as the column name that is a job and the condition as emp number is equal to 7788 and the results are shown in the ppt let us see employee name designation and salary with uh, salary is greater than 2000 here the condition is greater than 2000 for uh, salaries and they have to display e name job and uh, salary of the employees the results uh, will be the intersection of uh, columns and uh, rows mm -hmm. that is uh, demonstrated mm -hmm. in the ppt now the query is employees name designation and salary with the salaries from 2000 to 3000 including both the values that means the salary should be greater than or equal to 2000 and less than or equal to 3000 these rows should be selected and uh, the details uh, should be e name job and salary now Uh, you can also use uh, one special operator known as uh, between and and instead of uh, these two conditions uh, that is uh, demonstrated in the query the column between uh, minimum limit to maximum limit sal between 2000 and 3000 like that also you can give it instead of the condition Kindly observe the results in the PPT.
Now the query is employee's name, designation and salary with uh, salary is uh, below 2000 and that of uh, above 3000 also. Okay, therefore here the condition may appear as uh, end condition that is uh, uh, salary less than 3000 and salary greater than 2000 but if you apply and uh, uh, operator here what happens is uh, they are uh, mutually exclusive therefore it cannot be satisfied for any of the rows therefore indirectly the condition is or but not and the query is employees name designation and salary of managers whose salary is greater than 2500 therefore here the condition is the job should be manager and the salary should be greater than 2500 the condition for the manager is job is equal to single course manager and capital letters and the results are illustrated in the PPT. Let us see about uh, the distinct uh, optional keyword. This is used whenever you want unique values. So for example, you want unique job names. Uh, you have to give distinct and job name in the selection list and then the from list is the same and uh, uh, we want all the rows therefore there is no where clause here. Distinct can be used on more than two columns so then uh, distinct combinations of the column values will be displayed. Those are the result. So the main points covered in this PPT are for columns you have to use a selection list, for rows you have to use where clause and for distinct values you have to use a distinct.